Shabbat Shalom. I know things look a little bit different this evening as Rabbi Cantor and I are leading our service from each of our own homes. Cantor is about to lead us in our opening song and as she does, we begin an evening in which all of us are sitting in the sanctuary we've built in each of our homes. Not just as we shelter at home this month, but the safe place we strive to build in our homes every day. In Judaism, the home has long been a sacred space. And while we light candles and say Kiddush in our Shari Tzedek sanctuary each week, this has always been a home ritual. So as we sing, I encourage you to get a couple candles ready and a Kiddush cup if you have one, although any glass of wine or cup of juice will do, so we can bring Shabbat into our homes together. And as we've been trying, if you're on Facebook or on our website, this is a great time to wish everyone a Shabbat Shalom in the chat box, if you haven't done so already. How good it is, how sweet it is to be together on this day. How good it is, how sweet it is to be together on this day. In name Shabbat 
And now Cantor is going to lead us in our candle blessings and Kiddush. I think I have the official Shabbat table for our gathering this evening. But again, our hope is everyone is joining us. And like we've been saying, even if you don't have Shabbat candles, um, anything that you have, even that uh, big candle that sits on your coffee table is fine to honor the Shabbat light that we aspire to bring into each of our homes this evening. So we're going to light our candles now. And again, we wave our hands or circle our hands three times over the candles. And we bring in the light and the love and most especially the peace as we say, Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, sovereign of the universe, who hallows us with mitzvot, commanding us to kindle the lights of Shabbat. Now, if you have your Kiddush cups ready, filled with wine or juice or beverage of your choice, we're going to join together in our Kiddush blessing. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam borei peri hagafen. Praise to you, Adonai, our God, ruler of the universe, who has created the fruit of the vine. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Borei Peri HaGafen Amen Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kiddushanu B'mitzvotav V'ratzavanu Shabbat kod shabahava ubratzon in chilanu zikaron lamahase vereshit ki hu yom tehila lemikra ekodesh zechel etziyat mitzrayim divanu acharta. Yotanu kidashta mikol amim Shabbat kochecha ve'ahava uvratzon in kaltanu Baruch atah Adonai mekadesh Hashabbat. Amen. L'chaim. This week's Torah portion is the second of the book of Leviticus, a continuation of the instruction manual describing the way in which the priests would offer sacrifices at the temple in Jerusalem. We, the common Israelites, would bring our animals to the outer gates of the temple, but only the priests could offer the sacrifice and only at the temple. This is the exact opposite of Judaism today. With the destruction of the temple almost 2,000 years ago, we had no more priests and no more animal sacrifice, and the middleman was removed as our worship was replaced by both individual and communal prayer. Prayers that were equal from everyone and could take place anywhere. 
in the 20th chapter of Exodus, right after the giving of the Ten Commandments, right after the people share how distant they felt from their God, right after we read the people stood at a distance while Moses approached the cloud in which God dwelled. God said, in every place where I cause my name to be mentioned, I will come to you and bless you. As those who are able and comfortable doing so rise for Baruch Hu, a prayer that traditionally requires a minion, a community of at least 10, we recognize that when we gather in this way, all of our homes are places in which God dwells and all of the sanctuaries in which we sit this evening are connected in a very special way. Are you listening to my prayer? Can you hear my voice? Can you understand? Am I awake? Am I prepared? Yeah, la, 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 la. It is evening and children slowly dream away the storms of day. It is evening and stars glow gently in the quiet heavens. Can we understand a dream? Find a net to capture the meaning of a glowing star? What bridge spans the vast space we must cross to reach understanding? How small are we who attempt the journey? And yet somehow we learn to find our glory in a brave and endless struggle to comprehend eternal mysteries. We are voyagers in an infinite sea, our destination always beyond the horizon, but we are voyagers. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Baruch Shem Kevod Malchuto Le'olam and now as we're seated, we recognize that this Shabbat was supposed to be uh, for the best family, a very special celebration as Nathan was supposed to be becoming bar mitzvah on this Shabbat. So Nathan is going to join us now via recording 
um, leading us in Vea Hapta. Listen, O oh children who struggle with God. Ours is the God who unites us in fellowship during times of both joy and difficulty. You shall love this God of yours in the long hours of anxiety, of boredom, of uncertainty, and of fear. You shall love this God of yours with every breath. Breathe, breathe. Remember to breathe. And if you have something to give, give. And when you are in need, ask. Be it for companionship in a time of isolation or financial support when working has become unsafe. Let words of comfort from our tradition fill your home. Let parents be filled with patience and children be filled with compassion. Let the sanctity of your home make your home into a sanctuary. For those who go out to serve on the front lines of health or sustenance. As you bind a face mask or scarf upon your nose and mouth, let the work of your hands be strength and let determination be your mindset. Let all the sacrifices you must make Elevate your sanctuary and every doorpost of your home be a gate of prayer. Thus you shall all remember that the rules and restrictions we face are holy work. Protecting the lives of all those created in the image of God. Your recognition of God's image and your neighbor shall be your redemption, leading all of us out of this narrow place to serve the one as one. Oh, 
Kodesh, Mi Kamoka Baheli Madonai, Mi Kamoka Nedorba Kodesh. Korati Lord, O Sebele, Korati Lord, O Sebele, Arunai Loch Leolam Bae. Venemar, Vadarunai Yakob, Ugalo. Kazak mi menu, Baruchat Adonai, Da'ot Yisrael. We now take the time to rise as we do the Amidah. If you are unable to rise, please remain seated, but rise in your heart. Sifatai chief tah, who be a git hila teha. Adonai, open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. Baruchata ta Adonai. Eloheinu, Elohe Avotenu, Elohe Elohe Abraham, Elohe Yitzchak, Elohe Yaakov, Elohe Sarah, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rachel, Elohe Leah, Ha'el Hagadol, Hagibor, Hanora, El Yon. Gomel Hasadin Tovim, the Kone Hako, the Zoher Haste Avot, the Imahot, who may dig Ula leave Nevenahem, the Maan Shemobe Ahava, Melech Ozer Moshia Umagain. Baruch atah Adonai, Magen Avraham ve'ezrat Sarah. Atah gibor le'olam marunai, Nechaye hako atah rav lehoshia. Mashiv haruach u'morid hagashem. Mechalkel chayim bechesed, Mechaye ha rachamim rabim. So mech no flim berope holim. Umatir asurim. Umakaye memunato. Lishe ne afar. Micha mocha baal geburot. Umidomelach. Melech me mi tu mechaye, u mat mi ach yeshua, le ne emana tale hachayot hako, baruchata adonai, mechaye hako. At hakadosh, vishim hakadosh, u kudoshim bechol yom ya haleluha sela. Baruch atah Adonai ha'el ha'kadosh. What if you thought of it as the Jews consider the Sabbath the most sacred of times? Today, as we are faced with staying in our homes, working from our homes, not being able to go out as we please, this poem talks about this time of isolation and quarantine as a metaphor for Shabbat. Cease from travel. Cease from buying and selling. Give up just for now on trying to make the world different than it is. Sing, pray, touch only those to whom you commit your life. 
centered down. And when your body has become still, reach out with your heart. Know that we are connected in ways that are terrifying and beautiful. You really could hardly deny it now. Know that our lives are in one another's lives and in one another's hands. Surely that has become clear. Do not reach out your hands. Reach out your heart. Reach out your words. Reach out all the tendrils of compassion that move invisibly where we cannot touch. Promise this world your love for better or worse, in sickness and in health, so long as we all shall live. Shalom Rabbi Israel Amta Tassim Olam Shalom Rabbi Israel Amta Tassim Olam Ki Ata And now at this time in our service, we think of those in our midst, those of our loved ones, those in our community who are in need of healing, whether it's physical, spiritual, or mental. But we also know that so many in our community, in our state, in our country, and throughout our world are in need of healing from this virus, not only those who are suffering, but those who are connected to those who are suffering, and so many who are risking their life every day to protect those who are suffering. So we join together reading this poem by Rabbi Naomi Levy, a special poem written for before Misha Berach during this time. We are frightened, God, worried for our loved ones, worried for our world, helpless and confused. We turn to you seeking comfort, faith, and hope. Teach us, God, to turn our panic into patience and our fear into acts of kindness and support. Our strong must watch out for our weak. Our young must take care of our old. Help each one of us to do our part to halt the spread of this virus. 
send strength and courage to the doctors and nurses in the front lines of this battle. Fortify them with the full force of their healing powers. Send wisdom and insight to the scientists working day and night across the world to discover healing treatments. Bless their efforts, God. Fill our leaders with the wisdom and the courage to choose wisely and act quickly. And help us, God, to see that we are one world, one people, who will rise against this pandemic together. Send us health, God. Watch over us. Grace us with your love. Bless us with your healing light. Hear us, God. Heal us, God. As we say together, amen. We think of all those for whom we are praying on this Shabbat as we sing this Mishaberach of healing together. Now take a moment, each of us, for our own silent prayer. Oh. 
song. In Florida's churches, synagogues, mosques, and other religious institutions have been in the news quite a bit these past few days, but it's not just Florida. The river at Tampa Bay Church is only one of many nationally that have insisted on continuing to hold large services, and they're joined by small segments of the ultra-Orthodox in the Northeast and in Israel who have worsened the problem by putting ritual ahead of the ethical insisting on continuing public worship. But while the news has been about the outliers, they are the exception. Every single Tampa synagogue has committed themselves to refraining from any public gatherings. So many priests and pastors and ministers are creating meaningful Easter experiences for their parishioners. And so many members of the Islamic community have changed their routine to do their daily prayers from home rather than the mosque. As Rabbi Farb shared so beautifully in his interpretive translation of Ve'ahavta, and we'll make sure to publish that on our Facebook page and include it in our emails, because Rabbi, it really was beautiful. We can love God best right now by loving God from our homes. So now I hope you'll join me in singing a song that we've borrowed from the church. I learned it when I was in youth group, and it comes from Exodus chapter 25, verse 8. Let them build me a sanctuary that I may dwell among them. Uh, this was actually the Torah portion when all of our high school students were gathered for Kalah, and hearing our kids sing it in our sanctuary was so beautiful. But now we ask that God dwell in each of our homes, with all of our family, friends, and neighbors in their homes. And just as we pray that the homes of billions may be a sanctuary over the coming month, we pray that each of us may be a sanctuary as well, allowing God to dwell in us, giving strength to us, and allowing us to be a source of strength for others. I hope you'll join with me as we sing. So we're going to actually start with the English which is, Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and true, and in thanksgiving will be a living sanctuary for you. It goes like this. Oh, Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary, pure and holy, pure and holy, tried and true tried and true in thanksgiving in thanksgiving i'll be a living i'll be a living sanctuary for you in the 
Hebrew, we go like this. sanctuary, to be a sanctuary, pure and holy, pure and holy, tried and true, tried and true, and with thanksgiving, I'll be a living, I'll be a living, sanctuary. Now our service continues as we rise and join Cantor in chanting Alenu. Alenu le Shabbat la Adon Hakol la Tet Kedula le Yotzer Breshit Shelo Asanu Kigoye Haaratzot le Lo Samanu Kemishpechot Haadama. Shalom, Sam Chelkenu Kahem, Vegoralenu Kehohamonam, Vaanachnu Korim, Umishahavim Umodim, Lifne Melech, Malcheham Lachim, Akadosh Baruchu. Vene mar vehayadunai lemelech al koharetz Vayom ha'hu, vayom ha'hu, yie adunai echad Ushemo, ushemo, ushemo The light of life is a finite flame. Like the Shabbat candles, it is kindled, it burns, it glows. It is radiant with warmth and beauty. But soon it fades, its substance is consumed, and it is no more. In light we see, in light we are seen. The flames dance and our lives are full. But as night follows day, the candle of our life burns down and gutters. There is an end to the flames. We see no more and are no more seen. Yet we do not despair, for we are more than a memory, slowly fading into the darkness. With our lives, we give light. Something of us can never die. We move in the eternal cycle of darkness and death, of light and life. At this time, we take a moment to remember those of our community who have recently been laid to rest, including, including Herb Edelson, Joel Mish, Concepcion Catasus, Richard Willis, Ernest Markowitz, Judith Cowell, Bernard Rohatner, Hilda P. Stern, Joan Rothhaus Glickman, David Zendel to be laid to rest. So unfortunately, we're having a problem with Rabbi Farb's sound. So I'm going to read those names again of those who are recently laid to rest. Irving Edelson, Joel Mish, Concepcion Katasus, Richard Willis, Ernest Markowitz, Judith Towell, Bernard Rohatner, Hilda P. Stern, Joan Rothhaus Glickman, 
and to be laid to rest this weekend, David Zendel. We also remember those whose yard site, the anniversary of whose passing occurs at this time, Benjamin Adlin, Marion Allen, Sharon L. Bal Balber, Fred Lee Barber, George Benzi, Aaron Bentonoff, Carol Berger, Eli V. Berger, Charles Berlin, Richard Berlin, Sally Cushing, Joe Ronnie Denman, Stanley Dreyer, Celia Fallis, Harry Fallis, Vicki Fleischman, Celia Gisela Frank, Jacob Samuel Freeman, Roger Gagney, Erwin Geller, Raymond David Goldstein, Bert Goodstone, Murray Gottfried, Fanny Greenberg, Edith Shapiro Greenberg, Etta Gross, Hugo Gross, Louis Arthur Gross, Harold Horowitz, Lester Cantor, Rhoda Carpe, Ali Keskiner, Jean Klinger, Maurice Max Kornberg, Martin Kornfeld, Rebecca Kotler, Herbert Lyston, Donald Levine, Samuel Levine, Edmund Levy, Lillian Levy, Geraldine Linsky, Eleanor Joan McCulloch, Roman Naraditsky, Pearl Orlowski, Susan Pachevsky, Rosalind Pollock, Joyce Rabinowitz, Patricia Randall, Moses Reiber, Helen Shanfarber, Hilda C. Schwartz, Robert Siegel, Anna Shanewald, Gloria Eichel Shear, David Lawrence Sloan, Virginia Smigielski, Irving Solomon, Tibor Robert Stevens, Virginia Swindle, Rose Haber Towell, Bernard Udell, Harold M. Unger, Sergio Vasquez, Fernando Sardink Vinvela, Phoebe Walters, Albert, Albert Weinberg, Ruth G. Weitzenkorn, Lawrence Wertheim, Emma Wolf, Ruth Zack, Dorothy Zander, and Rabbi David M. Zalanka. We remember them even as we remember all of our loved ones who are no longer with us, who, though unmentioned, are always in our hearts. And as we rise and join together in Kaddish Yatom, we mix our mourning with gratitude and blessing as we thank and praise God for having shared their lives with each of us. Yitgadal the Yitkadash Shemei Rabba. Ve'alma divra chirute v'yamlich malchute. V'chayechon uv'yomechon uv'chaye dechol beit Yisrael. Ba'agala uv'izman kariv v'imru amen. Yehe Shemei Rabba mevarach le'olam ulalmei almaya. Yitbarach v'yishtabach the yit pa'ar, the yit ramam, the yit nase, the yit hadar, the yit ale, the yit halal, shemei de kudasha, berichu, la'ela mim kol birchata vishirata, tush bechata venechemata, the amiran be'alma the imru amen, yehe shlama raba min shemaya, the chayim alenu ve'al kol yisrael, the imru amen. O se shalom bimromav, hu ya ase shalom, alenu ve'al kol Yisrael, the imru, amen. May the source of peace send peace to all who mourn and comfort to all who are bereaved, as we say together, amen. And now, um, before we sing Sanctuary one more time. Um, some of you may wonder why we haven't been singing together at all. Um, when we're recording in this way, it is actually impossible to sing in unison. And just so you know that together, we're gonna go ahead and sing the mozi all together um, before we, uh, we finish our service singing Sanctuary one more time. I am very excited for this challah, and I wish I could share it with you all. Um, Jason and the kids were baking today, and they would come out except Eva and Judd are having a pajama day, which means they have not changed out of their pajamas all day, which for the parents who are at home with kids 
even though we know that we're supposed to have routine and keep a schedule and make things as normal as possible, we've had a lot of pajama days in our home. So, uh, so they're not going to join us tonight, but they are going to be eating with me soon. So Rabbi Cantor, we'll all sing together. Ready? One, two, three. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, amotzi lechem min ha'aretz. Amen. And everyone can reach and have a bite. Yum. <laughs> and again, um, we've enjoyed either hearing about or seeing pictures of whatever you're eating for your own egg at home. Um, and tonight, I forgot to mention um, that Lindsay and Molly and Lisa are, and Sarah are hanging out on chat to uh, wish you all a Shabbat Shalom. I'm sure you've all been enjoying. We would love to see a picture of your home sanctuary if you're not wearing your pajamas. Um, so maybe also in the Facebook chat or on Facebook later, post a picture of your Shabbat table or on your couch um, with the service or however you're celebrating Shabbat tonight. We would love to see the sanctuary that you've created in your home. So I'm gonna go ahead and mute Cantor again, but they're gonna be singing with me as we join in our uh, closing song again, uh, one more time, asking that our homes may be a place in which God dwells as we all create a home of peace, we pray together. Oh Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and true, with thanksgiving, I'll be a living sanctuary. And Rabbi, even if you're a little uh, scratchy, why don't you offer our closing benediction? As we enter this Shabbat of peace, we wish God's blessing on all of you that you may be blessed with a Shabbat of peace. Adonai oz l'amo yitain, Adonai yibarech et amo v'shalom. May all of God's people be blessed in every sanctuary, wherever they may be praying from, with a Shabbat of peace. Amen. Amen. Shabbat Shalom. We will see you all tomorrow morning, Torah study at 9.15, our casual Shabbat morning service, which means we uh, won't be wearing button, button downs. Um, that's at 10.30. And um, on Monday, uh, we have lots of opportunities for learning. Cantor is going to be starting an introduction to Hebrew reading class. And then we are continuing our webinars on how this Passover is different from all other Passovers. And you can watch your email for all the Passover goodies we're creating for you as well. Feel free to reach out to us anytime if you need anything, as we wish you all a Shabbat Shalom.